Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the brand new Warhammer Horus Heresy map. I think it's the Exultant map. It will cost you £40, which is the same price as the others uh, that I've collected over the years. I like to uh, get these maps and um, put them in uh, a frame and hang them up. Let me just unbox this. Here it is. So it says right here, Siege of Terror, Mercury Exultant Kill Zone. Let's have a look at this map. So it comes in one of these uh, boxes. Uh, it's UK £40. It's not available anymore on Games Workshop's uh, web store if you were interested in picking one up. So um, I like these maps because they come with this quite heavy solid um, metal I don't know what you'd call it, like pin keeper? I don't know, but it's nicely detailed, it's heavy, it's solid. Uh, and the map also comes in this, um, I think like fake leather bound uh, protector. And let's just put this over here <clears throat> and unroll it the correct way. All the way from probably there, maybe we'll need to go um, I'm recording this in 4K uh, for your viewing pleasure. Um, there we go. So as expected, not a, not a huge amount of detail uh, on this map um, compared to the the others. Um, I'm very much excited about the next map um, that's that's coming out, which I think focuses on Warhawk because you've got you've got the um, uh, plate, uh, the gravitic plate uh, that. Well, I don't want to go into spoilers and things, but it's quite integral uh, to the Siege of Terror. Um, and you've got that on it. So I am looking forward to the next map more than, than this one. Even though, story that wise, this is probably one of my favourite uh, of the books. Um, Mortis, this is kind of based on where, where the Titans have a big, big um, battle. I mean, you've also got Killzone Archon, the uh, Arteria 2930, Shard Bastion, uh, Kurder Bastion. Dominion Bastion, um, and then it says the Achilles line. You've got uh, mid elevation ridge, Coralia's grave. Uh, you've got Lake Voss, uh, Coralia's grave there. So this is like a, a little look at the lake, like a, a, a zoomed in. Uh, there's Shard Bastion, which is there. So that's kind of like zoomed in from, from there. You've got Furio, Aurelius and Principal. So massive, massive bastion there. You've got this, which I think is the uh, Titan Legion, uh, the is it Ignatus, I think, or the Furians, one of those two, uh, but that's the um, Loyalist one. And then of course you've got Legio Mortis, I think it is. So yeah, that's, that's those, even though it doesn't say, but, but that's the map uh, for Mercury Exultant Kill Zone. Um, of course, it's got, you know, it says Mercury Exultant Kill Zone there, and it's got the uh, Titanicus um, symbol. So there you go. That's uh, a little look. Um, maybe if I kind of zoom in a bit at some of the detail. So, because it's hard to see, they don't do a very good job on the web store of showing, um, you know, what's, what's on the map or the detail and things, which is something that I was, I was looking at. Um, or trying to look at, uh, but yeah, I, I do like the little buildings and things. So many, aren't there? So many different kill zones. There's the Cradle, Dominion Bastion, which is right, right up there. And there you go, so I would have preferred them to release these maps at the time of the books being released. The Mortis uh, novel actually was released in April of 2021, so almost two years ago. Can you believe it that we've had uh, that, uh, that amount of time that's passed? And I would have preferred that map to be released at the same time, um, because now 
uh, I'd have to go back and read it and kind of understand some of these points uh, of reference. But yeah, there you go. That is uh, the map for the Mercury Assaultant Kill Zone. Uh, what do you guys think? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.